Police in Atlanta are apologizing for a misunderstanding involving a rapper that was held at gunpoint after he withdrew $200,000 of his own money. So uh, the rapper in question here, his name is Sam Benson, goes to the bank, withdraws money from his own bank account, and that somehow alarms people at the bank and they call the authorities. Then the authorities proceed to put a gun to his head and treat him as if he's a criminal. Now he took out the cash because he wanted to buy himself a Mercedes. Apparently he's a successful rapper uh, who's doing lucrative things with music, but let me give you more details. <laughs> no, it's kind of amazing because I've never heard of him, but $200,000 is no joke. To like, take out, and he says he, you're, as you're going to see here, yeah, I'm a millionaire, yeah. so it's not a big deal to me. So according to Sam Benson, who goes by the stage name uh, Black Youngsta, he uh, had just exited a Wells Fargo branch in the upscale community of Buckhead after withdrawing $200,000 in order to buy a new car. Here's his account of what happened. He said, I come out the bank, I see the police, I'm walking to my car, I see one of them point to my bag like him. They come bum rushing me at the car, put me on the ground, putting guns to my head. Now, a spokesperson for the Atlanta Police Department explained that they were responding to a call at the request of the bank manager before finding that no crime had been committed. And again, he told the media, look, I don't believe in showing up to the car dealership with a check, all right? I show up with cash, and I drop the cash, and I buy my car. And apparently, a black person who has hundreds of thousands of dollars is very suspicious, and cops have to immediately put a gun to his head. Well, Anna, we finally found it. Uh, millionaire uh, that the establishment is against. Yeah, it's <laughs> true. Uh, apparently, the only way to get the powerful people in this country to turn against you if you're a millionaire is if you're a black youngster. Just ask some questions before you put a gun to someone's head. Ask some questions like, "Hey, where is that your money?" Where? Like, first of all, he shouldn't be profiled to begin with, right? And the bank manager is a little questionable because. No. Not a little questionable, massively questionable. Right? So let's break this down. First, the cops, uh, I think, are actually the minor part of the story. What they did was wrong. It's, they say minor, even though they put a gun to the guy's head. Right. First of all, don't take the gun out in every case, right? So you got a guy with a bag. I got it. You want to put your hand on the gun? Even I, I'm not sure you need it, but it's a bank. He's got a lot of money. Okay, right? I get it. Hey, can you put that down? Can you turn around? Right? Like, can we? Before you take the gun and put it to somebody's head, just calm down for a second because you keep shooting unarmed people. So, can we bring it out? He, they seem calm after they got him handcuffed. They're smiling. You see it in the picture. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> how embarrassing yeah. is that, by the way? As someone who's innocent, who hasn't done anything wrong, and you're laying there on the ground with handcuffs on, and these cops are just hanging around laughing. Like, yeah. it's just so humiliating. Okay, now let's get to the main culprit here the bank manager. Hey, dumbass, you just get you just gave the guy $200,000. It, whether it was you personally or the person you authorized, did you authorize or did you not authorize the two hundred thousand dollars? I mean, what, what, that doesn't make any sense. If you didn't authorize it, call the cops right away while he's in the thing. Why did you give him the two hundred thousand dollars? Right. How did you not know that he has an account at your bank that he just withdrew his money from? What kind of an? I'll try to keep the cursing it to a minimum, but yeah. what kind of a person says, "Oh, there's my client yep. who has millions of dollars in my bank." It took out $200,000, but he, on the other hand, he's black. So I'll panic and call the cops on my own client. It's incredible. That's unbelievable. I mean, if a white guy in a suit comes in and asks for $200,000 and they check his account and they're like, oh, okay, well, Mr. You know, Johnson, here you go. Are they going to call the cops on him? <laughs> Why would they? Why would they? It would be inconceivable that they would do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, but this guy, huh, he's a black youngster, can't have it. Even though he just was two hundred thousand dollars in the formal way from a bank, mm -hmm. he didn't ask for, a, he didn't give him a note, he didn't do anything. He said, "Here's my name, here's my account. Can you give me my money?" Call the cops on him. Now you wonder why black people in this country get frustrated. Right. I mean, I don't blame them for being frustrated. Well, I mean, they, you, what, what were they told? They're told that's okay, get rich, and if you get rich, then we're all equal. Right. Well, he's rich, and he ain't equal.